Hello students now we will be solving memory based questions of gate 19 for more video solution on gate 19 subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click bell icon for instant notification Hello students I am Santosh in this video we got to see a question from engineering mathematics from the topic of differential equations which has been asked for two marks First of all let me read the question a differential equation is given as x square d square over dx square Minus two x dy by dx plus two y is equal to four. The solution of the differential equation in terms of the arbitrary constants c one and c two is dash. So this question is not a constant coefficient linear differential equation. Generally, the questions are asked based on constant coefficient linear differential equation. But here we are having variable coefficient linear differential equation, which is what we call as the Cauchy-Euler equation. So in that case, we take a simple assumption that let X is equal to e power z. We take that x is equal to e power z. Then we can write d square by d x square as something like theta into theta minus one and d by d x as simply theta. What is theta? Theta is nothing but d by d z. Okay. So if that is the case, we can write it as theta into theta minus one multiplied by y minus two theta y plus two y. Is equal to the top zero. First of all, I wanted to take the complementary function only, where we are going to take the right side part is equal to the top zero. Okay, so because I am considering a complementary function, I will take the right side part is equal to zero. So theta square minus three theta plus two multiplied by y is equal to zero, for which you will get the value of theta to be equal to the top one comma two. So now you will write the complementary function is equal to c1 e power z plus c2 e power 2z. Right? Now what is e power z? E power z is nothing but x. So we can write it as c1 x plus c2 x square. This is the complementary part of the function. Next is a particular integral. So in the case of a particular integral, we are going to write it as 4 can be written as 4 e power 0z divided by Theta square minus three theta plus two. Now here you can see here you are having zero directly. We can substitute here. So four by zero minus three into zero plus two into e power zero z, which is nothing but one. So it is nothing but four by two. So the complementary function is going to be equal to the top. I mean the particular integral is equal to the top two. The complementary function is going to be equal to the top c1 x plus c2 x square. So the general solution will be a addition of complementary function and the particular integral. So it is going to be c1 x plus c2 x square, or you can write it as c1 x square plus c2 x plus the particular integral part, which is equal to two. So the answer for this question is option C. So option C is the right answer. I hope this video is useful for you. Please don't forget to like and share with your friends. Thank you.